Hi, Kick Medium Tony Green here with yet another show. And I'm, oh my goodness, there's so much to share with you guys. Wow, I have to stop cutting my own bangs. Biggest share, biggest share. I need to stop cutting my own bangs. <laughs> okay. Yoop. Get it together, girl. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to try to get through the pre-show announcements so, so quickly, but they are important, especially for all the new people joining us. Thank you. So first and foremost, if you would like to call in, ask a question, or connect with a loved one, the number is 845-277-9135. Three, one. Again, that's 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask a question or um, connect with a loved one on the other side. Please have one exact question available or the name and the relationship of a loved one, like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle, something like that. Just, you know, something like that. Okay, next, I will never, ever, 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 ever reach out to you on social media and tell you you need anything or to cash at me. I don't even have cash app. No, mm -mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <clears throat> no, I don't do any of those things. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Mm. I have PayPal, Square for my office and... Give me money. I don't know. I am available for private sessions if you would like all this goofiness one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, not goofiness, just, you know, the goodness one-on-one. -on -one. Uno on uno. Mm, yes. Okay. Um, need to, gosh, I hope I'm still connected. Okay, next, uh, we're going to do... And the today's healing on TikTok was for the self, self-respect, self-love, self-value. Um, it's on TikTok, you'll know. And on TikTok, I'm at Psychic Tony. And there we go. I'm adding new services um, this week onto my uh, website. So please make sure you go check that out. T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, this is a little personal thing and it's so, my God, my girl, my girl, Marla, Marla uh, Martinson, the mystical matchmaker sent me this beautiful thing. And I want to share it with you guys um, because it just, if you know somebody that you have been thinking about gifting, what a beautiful surprise this was. What? So it's from a company called Unbox Me. And these are the things which I can't, this smells mm, fabulous. But it's such a great box with like this mug and this lavender chocolate. Surprised it's still in its wrapper. I've had it a couple days. Um, socks because my feet are always cold. Um, this uh, immunity oil. I mean, there's so much in here. This matcha matcha honey which is amazing and then these these I just these are the last things I think I'm going to show but this lemongrass honey I think this is lemon strawberry lemongrass and there was this other honey that was oh this cocoa so when I go to Seattle and spend some time with Marla I'm taking this with me Except the socks. I'm going to be wearing them sooner than that. And we are going to be enjoying these. And we might make some like little TikToks like we're going to test the Unbox Me Lavender Chocolate and tell you all about it. Is it a go or a no? I feel like it's going to be a definite go. Okay. Um, I'm going to go straight up into names. If you hear your name. Your somebody you love's name, somebody in your familia's name, or a name of someone that you love or lost. You don't have to love them. They could have just been a friend. On the other side, this, it's for you. Even if somebody else claims it, it's still for you. Okay. So some of the names I was getting, I had to write everything down. And of course, I wrote it like I have 20-20 vision. And I do not. 
not even with contacts. I mean, what's up? Okay, so some of the names that were coming through this morning are, um, yeah, I can't write my own writing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tiffany, uh, Maud, Jav Javare, Javare, and Jamar. Jamar and Javare, which are names I've never known anybody with those names. If you have, let me know. Derek, um, Dean, Joy, Claudia. Oh, that's Claudio. And Esther, Esta. Now, there are some more names coming in, so I'm just going to give you a couple more names right now. The names that are coming in right now, and again, if this is your name, their name, you're going to know when you hear the name, if it's for you, Dawn, Diego, Pr Priscilla. Oh, I was getting that all night last night. Priscilla. Oh, Pris Priscilla will not leave the house. Apparently she really wants somebody to know she, she's, she's here. Um, Priscilla. Mac. That might have been a nickname or a last name, first name, whatever. Just Mac. Um, Greg. M -m Mickey. And the last name, give me one. Steve. Steve. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the songs. And again, I wrote them down because there was so many coming through this morning and I was chatting on the chat and trying to write down songs. And thank you, everybody. They've been on the chat talking to each other and talking to me. It's been amazing. And I did a, a clearing this morning on the chat for motivation. We are motivated. We're going to clear that to a yes. Okay. Um, uh, James Brown. James Brown. And yes, I know I can't sing. Boop, boop, boop. I can't sing. <laughs> so please don't state the obvious. Everybody knows this girl can't sing. <laughs> but this is what we do. This is what we do. We make fun of ourselves. We have a great time. And we don't give up if you don't give up. And we don't give up at all. Uh, and that's not a song from spirit. That's a song from me to you. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, stand by me. Won't you stand by me? I don't know any other words to that song. <laughs> How tragic. Um, I, I, I love in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, guys, give me some love in this club, in this club, in this club. I don't even know if those are the words. But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If that's for you, you just know. There's no two ways about it. Um, <laughs> and then that song they keep going do do dum 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 to the window to the wall and this song comes through all the time so i know somebody out there who listens to me this song is for you cuz it comes through all the time um man i need to not write quickly um uh, uh th then i kept hearing this Thugs need love too. <laughs> Thugs need love too. I don't even know if that's in a song, but I kept hearing it. And then that song, let me love you. Let me love you. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, okay. So I'm going to see if there are any other songs right now. Um, and, and, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that. Queen. Dancing, I don't think it's, it's not Queen, but it's Dancing Queen from that um, ABBA group. Okay, thank you. Um, Dancing Queen. Da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Oh. So if you think I am singing these songs because I know them, 
And that is all the proof you need right there, right that, right this, that, that, that's it. That's it. That's all you need right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to callers. I'm going to go to questions. So if you have a question and you're on YouTube, you can call in. Hey, YouTubers, you can call in 845-277-9131. Hey, and just real quick, thank you to everybody who watches my show on all the TV stations, the streaming stations, listens to it on the radio stations, um, on all the podcasts out there. Um, I, I really do appreciate that. And But if you do want to join us live, also, it's every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. So noon central, Monday and Wednesday, 7 p.m. central. And um, just, you know, join in on YouTube. You can watch all the, the silliness. Uh, you can listen in on Blog Talk. You can call in. And here we go to callers. Now, quite a few people have um, been asking questions. And I want to thank everybody in the chat. I, I would love to say everybody's name, but there's so many at this point. I can't even go back to the questions, all the questions. So if you have asked a question on YouTube, please make sure it's a new question, not something you asked last week or previously. And I don't mind re-answering questions, but remember this is for a show that airs and you know the listeners might like a new question too. So I'm gonna go start with a caller. When I say your area code, please tell me your name, where you're calling from and have one, una, uno, una specific question so that we can all make it in today. 413, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amber and I'm calling from Massachusetts. Hey, Amber, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Excellent. How can I help you today? Thanks for calling in. And how can I help you today? Of course. Um, I was looking to see if my mom or my aunt was connecting with you with any sort of inspiration or any wise words. Okay, so instantly I see two women come in and can you please tell me their names? I just out of respect and just to make sure I just love the names of the loved ones. So what's your mom and your your did you say aunt or grandma? My aunt. Okay, what are their names, love? So my mom's name is My mom is Shirley and my aunt is Corrine. Okay. <clears throat> I need to ask you, was one of them, a one of them was a little thinner and the other one was a little fuller, like they didn't have the same body size. Correct. Okay. They're here. They're right here. Um, the, and one of them is a little bit, I don't want to use the word gruff, but they're like, okay, let's get on with this. Let's get on with this. Like right away. She's <laughs> like, let's come on, come on. Let's get on with that. We need to tell her so. Oh, so the first thing, yeah, she's not playing. All I'm saying is she is not playing. She's like, the first thing we need to talk about is work. So let me ask you, love, um, what do you do for work? Um, so I am a waitress, but I also um, do tarot and write poetry. I love it. You're my, you are so my, mm. Oh, okay. So for <laughs> when you don't have words, just grunt. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the first thing they want to say is don't quit your day job or your night job. Bring in as much money, 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 especially the cash, the green on the hand, the coins in the purse, whatever you want to say it, however they would say it. Don't quit either. Keep doing both of them as much as you can um and just use that energy of um mm -mm, that energy from work and making money to create to to inform to um give you more energy um make sure you are getting on the right like you're getting you're getting yourself out there that's the biggest thing don't be afraid to tell people and don't be afraid to self-publish and don't be, just don't, just don't be afraid. 
Don't be afraid is what I'm hearing. Don't be afraid. <laughs> um, fear be gone. Poof. And is gone. Or not. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how strong my poof magic is yet. You guys tell me. Um, so, 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 um, what I'm going to say is what they are saying is that you are going to be um, a bringing in more, the less apprehension you personally have with this, the, the more energetically you're going to put it out there and the less you'll even have to talk about it. Um, keep a single-minded vision. And if you're not watching, that single-minded vision comes from the forehead. They, they they have me touching my forehead. Like in school, touch your nose, touch your toes, touch your cheeks, touch. Yeah, they say single-minded um, <laughs> Somebody is super sarcastic on the other side because I said, like it, like in school, touch your nose, touch your toes. And they're like, like, that's what you remember from school. Yes, it is what I remember from school. Don't ask me about algebra, though. Don't. Or English or history, any of it. Um, so that single, my Jesus, Moses, and Mary, pull your shoot together. Um, that single-minded vision, which is when we have that one vision, which is what we can see in our mind. So only see good things in your mind, make them come uh, from your mind into the world. So when we're thinking with our mind, and this is for everybody, pay attention because we're about to drop gold coins on you. Pew. So when we are having single-minded vision, we get an idea in our head or a want in our head. And then we have the thought, but we have to add the vision to it. We have to be able to see ourselves doing it. If you cannot imagine it in your mind, you bring it down a little bit. Just bring, bring, hone it back in a little bit to a point where you can imagine it and then build it. And so you have the thought, then you add the vision to it. So for example, a, a tarot, just envision yourself giving readings and then don't, don't, don't envision the person across from you and then go next, next, next in your mind and then reshuffle again, next, reshuffle, again, next, and then send that out like a projector into the world and watch it come to you. And don't worry, you won't be overwhelmed. You will always be able to handle your schedule is your schedule. You don't need to explain to people why you're not available or you are available. Um, that's a nunya, nunya business. When I, if, if I can't get you today, it, it's, I said what I said. And you heard what you heard. Mm -hmm. So just uh, don't don't be nervous. Just uh, let it all flow out so it can flow in. And my friends, that is the circle of life. And that's what they're saying. And I'm sticking to it. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. So I hope that's helpful. I really do. Um, right now is a time to focus on money matters, career matters, and building wealth. It's not a time to focus on um, uh, um, um, uh, um, on, um, <laughs> they're singing that song to the window, to the wall, till sweat drop down. <laughs> till every girl, is that time to focus on that? Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> It's time to focus on money matters. Now, if that is how you make your money, go get it. Go get it. Don't quit it. Go get it. But, <laughs> but what they're saying right now for you <laughs> and start putting your poems to a book. Okay. Okay. And, and I started keep, doing that last night. Oh, I love it. And keep it going. So my books are all self-published. Um, and they are through, I used KDP, which is now, if you go to KDP, you'll get in the right spot. And the people who are supposed to, to get, get them will have them. 
Okay. And so make sure that mm-hmm. you are, you're getting it out there and um, make sure you are promoting yourself um, on all the things like uh, the TikTok and the, the YouTube and everything. And you know what? There might be a million people out there, but so what? Those mm-hmm. really, you know, there's always your energetic matches will come to you. Okay. That's what I need to say. They'll find you. They'll be with you. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope that was helpful. Call back anytime. I cannot wait to uh, hear. And once you get the book published, come back and let us know so we can put it out there for everybody. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing day. And thanks again for calling in. I'm going to go to what I think is the first question on the chat. Chata, 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 chata. And that is Elizabeth. What do you see in my dating life? Anything on the horizon? Yes, I instantly heard horizon. I feel like it's in the fall time, which fall is upon us. Um, <clears throat> for a person who can't sing, I really insist on singing everything today. What? <laughs> um, I'm very animated today and I love it. I can't feel my face, but I love, I can feel my face. I can, I just, I'm goofy. Um, what do I see in your dating life? Okay. I see, uh, somebody's coming in in the fall. I see an outside. If if you're not already with someone, someone's coming in in the fall. If you are, you know what, um, Elizabeth, are you single? Put it in the chat. Hey, Mystic Raven. Hey, Tanita. Hey, Lolly. While you're putting that in the chat, I'm going to say hi to everybody. Frankie, um, Carla, Heather, Michelle, Amy. Um, I know uh, Fawn is here and um, Anne and Sal is here. Okay. um, Well, okay. So she didn't put it in the chat. So if you, hey, Jay Francis, um, if you're, single, you're going to meet someone in the fall. And I see like an outdoor setting that is very fall-esque. Um, but if you are with someone, if you're dating, it's going to graduate to the next level in fall. So that's what I have for you. Um, I, they're not showing me the other person. They're just showing me you sitting there and there is another person there and it's um moving forward so that is what i'm getting if you wanted a month on that i would say october which is this month is it november no it's october third week possibly of october now be open to the other weeks and be out and about does she meet him on tinder no Stay off Tinder, folks. Just get off Tinder. You know why? It, it, it's the STD app. It, I, I'm sorry if you're on it and you don't have one. Everyone I know who's been on it, that, that's the story they tell me. The his and her piece <laughs> is really active on the Tinder. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't happen for everyone. But it's happened for a lot of them. And don't say use protection because that's something that can be spread without protection, folks. If you did it now, well, now you do. How about that? Um, I, I, uh, Elizabeth, I, do, I believe that you meet this person organically. Um, I believe that you... You meet this person definitely organically, and you may either meet them through a friend or you're with friends when you meet them because I hear friend. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 614. 614, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Bill Sin. I'm calling from Ohio. 
Hey there, how can I help you today? Um, I, I have a boss at work, um, and I was just wondering, I'm not able to get along with, with him for whatever reason, um, and it's really bad, um, to the point where I was demoted. I was just wondering if, if they have any, um, guidance for me or any advice as to why this may be. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at the fact that you were demoted, but that is really a struggle. Oh my gosh. So don't tell me where, you, do not say where you work, but what do you do, love? Uh, I'm a pharmacy technician. Okay. The first thing I hear, my sweet girl, is um, you need to switch it up. Now, when I say you need to switch it up, that doesn't mean it's your fault, but you may need to go to a different pharmacy um, or a different branch. Um, whatever's going on with your boss and you, um, it, it's not going to resolve. It's not going to get better. It's not going to resolve. Um, and it might be best if you even like if you're at ABC Pharmacy, you go to EFG Pharmacy. Just completely get outside of that whole whatever group. Um, if you can get into a and I don't know, I don't know what this I'm not familiar with this. So please bear with me while I try to describe this. If you can get to the like pharmacy warehouse where they ship the drugs to the pharmacy, that might be a really, excuse me, good fit for you also. Um, but definitely start looking at other places that you might be able to go to. And remember, there are a lot. I I would if you're if you're with maybe look at like one well, of. What is the issue with me though? It it you know it doesn't really matter. It does it really matter? Because in the end, if you're gonna switch, which you should switch, you should get. A, and here's what I'm gonna say to you. Here, listen, and, and, and for anybody. For anybody listening, and there's a little bit of background noise with your phone, so I'm just going to mute you, but don't hang up because I'm I'm not done talking to you. Listen, when somebody comes in, whether it's their fault or our fault, whether we just have bad juju together or bad whatever together, here's the thing. That might be the universe, God, what, whatever you call it, creator, um, telling you it's time to move on. There's a better place for you. OK, I don't care if you're in a relationship, a friendship, a work thing. There's no reason to put up with abusive type of behavior from anyone. There's there's absolutely there's nothing that says because you get a paycheck here, because you get sex here, because this is your friend that you put up with their donkey dunk behavior. There's nothing in this world that says that. And you know what the beautiful thing about this world is? They be options everywhere. I mean, everywhere. It used to be there was only Walgreens and then there was CVS and then there was this and then there was that. And now Target and Walmart sell prescriptions. So there are a plethora of places for you to go. And what I'm seeing is there's actually a online pharmacy where you can work in like a warehouse type of situation and just send prescriptions out, whether it be to, to stores or to uh, homes. But the bottom line is, why are people jack-o'-lanterns? Who knows? Maybe he's not getting any. Maybe he's got hemorrhoids. Who knows? Who cares? That it's not your problem. You can't change them. The only thing you can change is you and where you are. And if you're going to put up with it, take back your power and say, you know what? I'm going to look and see what else is available. And I'm going to jump ship because this ship's captain is, is not acceptable. So here I go. 
Here I go again on my own. Okay, so that's what I have for you, love. I hope that's helpful. I know that you wanna you want me to say this guy is whatever. Okay, but fine. You already know what he is. You don't need me to validate that. You take power over your life. Don't let people treat you. Don't quit until you get another job. Don't quit until you get to another place and it's solid and it's set in. And when you apply for the jobs, don't, don't tell them that, tell them don't contact your employer. They don't know that you're looking because he'll mess up any other job that you're looking for if you let them contact your employer. And you know, sometimes when two spicy personalities get together, they just clash, you know, they just clash. So uh, being frustrated isn't going to serve you. It's just going to make it worse. Just go find a place that respects and honors your work and leave this in your rear view. Just leave it far behind you because nobody deserves to go to work where we spend so many hours a day and put up with somebody who doesn't, who doesn't get along with us. Yes. That's just, it's just that, that's that, that's what it is. Okay. I'm going to go next. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Michelle Lee. Oh my goodness. Michelle Lee says, I would love to call him, but no one needs to hear chickens, goats, and pigs while I'm feeding. Yes, Michelle, we do. We need that farm life. I'm seeing that that toy where you, this is so aging, where you used to pull the string and it, it spun around, it goes, and the chicken goes. <laughs> yes, we do. We need that. We need it. Never be afraid to call in for that. Never. Okay, next. Um, uh, Carla wants to know, does my mother Mary have anything to say in spirit? Yeah, she has a lot to say. Like she does not stop talking. Carla, I need you to check in and tell me, is your mother a talker? Was she a talker while she was here? Because she is now. If she wasn't then, she is now. Okay, so Mary, the first thing Mary wants to say to you is you need to get off the couch. I don't know if she's talking to you or me, Carla. <laughs> But she's not wrong. <laughs> she's not wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, she also wants to tell you that there's love all around you. You, um, There's so much love all around you. And that you might not be seeing this love or ex um, experiencing this love or recognizing all of the love that's around you, but there's so much love around you. You're kind of caught up in the day-to-day, 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 and you're not like uh, sitting back, taking a breath and looking at, um, who looking at, um, looking at how people love you. So everybody, anybody who's, who knows the book, the five love languages or however many love languages there are, um, everybody loves in their own way. Everybody shows love in their own way and they show up and they, they have a different way of loving. Um, so one of the message she's giving is <clears throat> be aware of how people show love to you and allow that to come through and recognize it for the way they love, not the way you want them to love you. Woo. Heard. I like that. I like that message. Okay, Carla, I hope that was helpful. And she loves you. And of course she loves you. Um, I'm going to go next to 646. 646, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. This is uh, Terry, and I'm calling from New York City. Excellent. How can I help you, love? Okay. I have a question, but first I need to do a follow-up to let you know uh, on uh, some advice that you uh, had given to me back in September. Okay. <laughs> so, 
when I called into your show, I called into your show in regards to my, I was, my landlord and I, uh, or we were, we were in a feud. And I told you that I had to, we were going to housing court. And you told me to try to work something out with him, you know. And I was like, no, 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 no. And I was explaining to you how, I mean, it's at the point where we're at odds. You know, he removed his hinges off the door to try to force me out of the apartment. But you were like, still try to work something out with him. (laughs) So... He didn't show up to court, but the landlord showed up to court. I mean, the landlord didn't show up to court, but the lawyer showed up to court. So I, we both agreed that I told him that I'm in the process of looking for a place, okay? And we go, we go back to court in November. I don't want to stay here, but only until I find a, uh, an apartment. So, I guess my question is, there's a place that I'm trying to move to. I don't know if it's going to be available by the next court date. I don't know. Even if it is, I just want to know, do you see me finding the two bedrooms that I want? So yes. That I can move. Okay. Yes, you are going to find a two bedroom that you will want, but no, it's not the place you're looking at right now. What I'm going to tell you, sweetie, is you need to, with a quickness, um, get into really aggressively looking, and you need to look outside of what they're calling your comfort zone. Um, so if you're only looking in this area, like I want a place in this area and these are my parameters, that's good. It's good to know exactly what you want, but what you want and at the price that is reasonable or I don't want to say affordable, but within your budget for you is outside of those parameters. And you're going to have to look outside of your It's not, I don't want to say it's your comfort zone. It's outside of the area that you're looking right now. And you are going to find the most, uh, like a really great place. Um, It's going to be affordable. It's going to have the amenities you want. But you have to go outside of where you're looking now. Okay. It's, It's not going to be in that specific area. Okay, love. And you, when you go back to court in November, I feel like you, they might try to mediate or negotiate, but you, it will not turn out perfect for you. It's You're not going to win this battle. You're not going to win this battle. Um, so you will have to go, but you will, if you, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. When you go back in November, if you're, if you don't have a place, they might start the next step of the process and you don't want that on your record. So let them know in November, I found a place that's going to take me this long to get into it. It's not the place you're currently looking at. It's a different place. Okay. Um, So just go and it's outside of, and they keep saying it's outside of your comfort zone, but you're going to love it. And when they say comfort zone, you're looking at places that you're familiar with or that you think you'd want to be. And they're saying, look outside of that. Open your, expand your map, open your options. Okay, love? I love it. Everything you said hits on the nose. Okay. I love it. Thank you so much for calling back. Thank you for giving us the update. (laughs) And I will, we will look forward to hearing more on this, okay? All right, I have to do a private reading with you, too. I tried to go on to your page, but I keep getting an error message. Oh, so make sure, um, I know it's T-O-N-I-G, like Tony G, Tony Green, Tony G dot I-N-F-O. So um, as long as you're putting that in, it should pop up. And the link is in the bio. So if that link isn't working, somebody let me know so I can fix the link. Okay, love? Okay, talk to you soon. Excellent. Okay, Tony. 
Thank you so much. Right. Have a great day. Good luck in your search. Good luck in your search. You know what, everybody? This is a really good time for our clearing because everybody who is, I'm going to do two. Dewey. Dewey clearings. Dewey is, um, I believe, Italian for two. Dewey clearings. Um, we're going to do anybody looking for work or wanting to change careers um, is... Um, is finding the perfect career with the perfect co-workers. I get a no, let's clear that to a yes. And they're finding it quickly. That's definitely a no, let's clear that to a yes. All that stopping or blocking this, take it all now, put it in the trash and let them move forward on their path. Whew. And then anybody looking for a new place to live, they need to get out of their place, sell their place. That's going to go beautifully and get into a new place that they absolutely love with neighbors that are energetically a good match. I get a no, let's clear that and all that stopping or blocking this. Ooh, okay, if you feel it, let me know. I would love to know if you guys are feeling this. I'm going to take a question on the, the chat. The next question, Tony, you have such a infectious energy. What do you, thank you so much. Um, this is from Frankie, Frankie D. What do you do for your downtime? Oh, sleep. <laughs> when I have downtime, even if I try to meditate, I just pass right out. I certainly do. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to snore while you meditate. <laughs> no, no, I said whenever I have downtime, I I'm pretty much either talking to my girlies, um, like Marla or Genevieve, um, um, and or but I'm I'm always working. So people think when you own a business, it's so you know. Oh, you own your own business. I own like four businesses. Okay. So I'm a distributor for Biomat, which I 1 million percent love. Um, it's an amazing product. I'm also, you know, I do the readings, the healings, the hypnosis. I'm always writing a book. I have the show that I do. And then I do all my own promotions and I'm supposed to do my taxes, which are sitting in a big old pile right now. Um, and there's other things that I'm not even saying. I'm getting ready to start doing retreats and putting groups together and starting new, um, <laughs> ventures, new, uh, new th services on my, uh, new services that I have to put onto my, my site. Oh gosh. So th that's what I do. If I'm not working with a client, I'm on the computer or I'm pen and paper deep into poems or uh, whatever book I'm working on. And um, yeah, which, and you know, people are like, why are you single? Yeah, this, mm, this, this, this because even if a guy tries to set up a date with me, if I have work, I'm like, yeah, no. Mm, I'm going to, I'm going to take my client. <laughs> I'm going to take my client. <laughs> um, it would have to be a very, um, I don't know. That's, that's just it. Oh, but Frankie, thank you. That's it. But if I do, if I, I'm going to tell you something, there are a couple things I love. And if, if I am like, it's, it's whatever I love to dance. So if I'm going to go out and do something outside downtime, it's shooting pool. I know, right? I'm not good. I'm not good. Shooting pool, dancing, or going to a movie because I love movies also. Uh, so that's it. That's it. That's the whole story. And I'm sticking to it. There's nothing else. Um, I'm going to go to 415. Thank you, Frankie. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hi, Tony. This is Kate in Colorado. Hey, Kate. I think I, why do I feel like every time you call in, you're calling from a different area? Yes, that is, absolutely. I am um, still enjoying traveling and um, house sitting. I love it. I love but it. Okay. It's usually the, 
Yeah. Let's get to your question, Kate, because I'm I I just looked at my clock and I'm sorry. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. So what's your question, Kate? <laughs> my um friend Paul, who passed when we were in high school, it's his birthday. So I've been oh. thinking about him, telling him happy birthday and any fun. He's always a kick to talk oh. to. The first thing I hear is Groundhog Day and I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. I got something, something. Just let something be. I'm all right. So that's the first thing that comes through. So Paul is all right. Paul is A-O freaking K. Um, He says he doesn't regret anything. Like... He doesn't regret that it was like other people think it was cut short. It was not. It was exactly as planned. He has no regrets. He loves, he loves, he he loves how everything went. And um, I hear that song, living it up, living it up. Uh, Oh yeah. That song. So he got to live the best of his life and never had the stress of his life. And he loves that. That is exactly, he goes, primo, primo, exactly as it was supposed to be. Primo, primo. Um, so people, you know, go and do all these things. And that's that, that to him would have been, you know, not living the dream. He gets to live the dream. So that's the message he has for you, love. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. And Kate, please keep us posted. Every time you get to a new place, come on the show and either put it in the chat or and tell us what you like about the area. Like I'm in Colorado and this is this part of Colorado and this is awesome. And let us know where you are. Let us uh, vicariously live through your 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 travels. Okay, love. (laughs) Yeah, I'm at a city on 10,000 feet. So, yeah, nice. it is. And the new adventure. Ex- a couple weeks. Excellent. Well, you keep doing it. And I look forward to hearing from you next time. Okay, sweetie? All right. Thanks so much. You are welcome, Kate. And your, your, um, your, I think it's your dad. Your dad says, hey, I love you. So, so oh. that's there too. Okay, love? Love it. Thank you. You are welcome. You are so welcome. So I think what Kate does is amazing. She is a house sitter and a pet sitter and she travels and just goes from place to place and does that. So if you are a person who loves to travel for, you know, you just want to get out there and you have nothing holding you back, um, definitely get on that vibe, get on that. Um, Mystical Raven asked a question and um, simply massage, I'm going to try to get you. Mystical Raven, I was told that I had a lot of energy baby around me, that my baby will be here soon. Now my brother's wife is, hmm, I lost you. Where'd you go, Mystical Raven? Uh, um, Every time I go to read this, it changes. Uh, Now my brother's wife is the one who is expecting a baby, not me. Congratulations to her. Be happy in her joy because that will bring it to you also. Uh, Can you please tell me if you still see a baby energy? Yes, I do, Mystical Raven. I do. Um, uh, Oh, um. So that is, that's the answer to your question. I allow everybody one question, whether they're on the chat or they call in. So thank you so much for asking that. You do still have a lot of baby energy around you and it is coming in soon. Please be patient and rejoice in other people's um, experiences. And soon it's going to be your turn. So please don't don't think that because she's pregnant that that's not you, it's her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Things come in threes. Boop, 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 boop. Threes. Things come in. Excuse me, things come in threes. I'm going to go to um, 
530, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, 530. Oh. Yes, 530. I can hear you tapping your phone. Oh, shoot. Okay. I was really hoping to connect with this person too. Unfortunately, I think um, not right now. So I'm going to go to the next caller who is um, 703. 703, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. This is Dee. How are you? I'm Happy good. Monday. Happy Monday. How can I help you, love? Okay, so um, I had a private reason with you probably a couple months ago. Um, still looking for new employment. I am working, as I stated before, but this job has become so stressful. I'm on the verge of quitting, but I know I can't. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, a new, before, before I do that. So please tell me okay. what type of energy are you picking up? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear all, for you, everybody listening, watching, whatever, uh, all stress, all causes of stress, all that's kept the stress has been cleared. I get a no and instantly like I feel um, a lot of toxicity coming up. And so we're going to clear that away yep. and we're going to... Um, let that go. The next thing I'm getting, and D, are you on a contract position right now? It is until next year. Okay, because I, I do hear contract. So I'm I wanted to know is that a contract you're currently on or one con and I hear next, next. So maybe there's another possible contract position coming in. And D, I hear that wherever you've been looking, however you've been seeking out a position, you have to look in new, like in a new way or in a new place. Okay. So one of the things I'm getting, and I'm just going to say this, um, and I say it a lot on the show, if you're looking for a position, um, I, if I personally were looking for a position, I would not go to all the sites that like uh, the deed site, deed in. I don't want to say their name on here. Uh, I would not go to that site and look because everybody's going there. I would figure out where do I want to work? And then I would go to their site and look for a position that suits my needs or fits my experience. So the weird thing is, D, I don't know if you're going to be taking a trip pretty soon, but I keep hearing and people will say to me, no, that that can't be. And I'm like, remember, every single company, especially bigger companies needs every single position filled that every company needs. But what I'm hearing is cruise lines and carnival cruise. So I don't know if you're going to be taking a trip soon, if you don't know about it, and it's a trip that's going to be coming in soon to you. However, if it's not, go to their website and see what they're hiring for. See what opportunities are available on their site. The next thing I'm hearing for you is the next job that you get is not going to be a conventional position. Um. Now, I don't want to explain that because what's conventional to me is nothing. I have never been conventional. <laughs> um, so I don't understand what's conventional to each person. Um, what I'm hearing, though, is it won't be conventional. And that might just mean it's not the way or what you've done in the past or how you've done it in the past. But, I, and I do know cruises, I think I have this really, he's just a doll. He's like an angel being on earth. His name is um, Gino DeLuca and he works on a cruise line, but he's a singer. It's a completely different type of position, but I do believe they're all on contract also, but they need, 
but every position, like they have all the same positions that every other company has. Now, if it's not that, I just think you're going to be taking a crew soon. But whatever it is that's coming in for you next is not going to be that conventional type of work. Now, just because I said carnival, that doesn't mean you stop. They might, that might just be an example. Go to all the cruise lines and look at their positions and or you're taking a trip. I don't know. Um, but the next position is going to come in sooner than you think. And it's going to come in by happenstance or by accident. Almost like it's almost I'm going to give you two examples, but these are not exact. Almost like something at where you're working now, somebody leaves and then you get their position or somebody you know says, we really need somebody over here or whatever it is. Um, it, it comes in almost like you're going to think, what a coincidence. Oh my gosh. It's, it's all divinely set up, but still look, go, go and look and see what you find. And you might be surprised at what you find. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what comes in next. Okay, beautiful girl. Just to validate, I am planning a trip, not a cruise, but I, I, I'm I, pondering and taking a trip um, next month. So you're okay. right on with that one. Okay. Is it to Florida or a place where they... No, no, Okay. Because no. sometimes I'll see cruise no, when people are right. going to Florida and that's my sign for Florida. Well, keep... Okay. So go look at cruise line, cruise like company positions but also okay if that okay. does become a possibility they might be saying go with it go with it you never know what might come of it okay but whatever that means for you but the next position is coming in soon they're not giving maybe that november december time there's a possibility for that to slide in and make sure you're looking you know, at, at the companies themselves, like if you want a government job, go to government.org or whatever and look at their job. Federal government, Fed, the Fed, there's a website for federal government. Don't go to federal government right, jobs. Right. Go to the actual federal government website and look at all the positions they have available in all the different areas or local, state, city, whatever it is. Look there because a lot of those positions are also contract positions. So I hope that I hope that's really helpful for you. Okay. I'm sorry, love. Okay. Excellent. Alrighty. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you are so welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Oh my goodness, you are so welcome. Thank you again for calling in again. I'm really grateful for that. I'm gonna try to get one more question in here. Simply, uh, simply massage. Well, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm wondering if my friend Bryant, who's passed on the other side, has any advice for me. Thank you for your gifts. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, I hope you're doing well. I am. Thank you. Um, so, Bryant, what do you want to say to her? Seconds. We have 90 seconds. Um, tell, her I, tell her I love her. Tell her she was right. Tell her everything's going to be okay. Tell her we are going to meet again. Man, when they need to get it out, they just freaking get it out. That's like one of the happiest messages. Um, okay, I'm going to be back. Okay, listen, I'm going to be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. 60 seconds. Ah, the stress is for you. 60 seconds. Um, 7 p.m. Central. If I did not get, your, get to answer your call or your question or you want to join me, then please come join me Wednesday at 7 p.m. And I'm going to um, tell you about a healing that Marla, Marla did on me last night. I'm going to tell you about that Wednesday. Okay, you guys, I love you so stinking much. Remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life. Thank you.